Hi, my name is Patrick and I know nothing about car care. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Detailing 101. Welcome back to an episode where we tackle this bad boy. I think it's one we've been promising for a few weeks. We're going to be doing the glass. We're doing the glass. Next time we're doing the glass, but then... And then we did the interior. Then we did the interior. Then and then, we did hey, the we're going to do the glass. And then we did the snow foam. However, the glass is here. The glass is dirty. We have not touched the glass. It is spattered with bugs. And we're going to tackle that today using the perfect clarity system. What is the Perfect Clarity System? There's three products in the range. So you've got the cleaner, the glass cleaner. Yep. It's obviously it's your maintenance product. It's making sure you've got a street free finish on the glass and you've got perfect clarity. We've also got the compound. Now this is your stage one for your kind of protection process. So this is going to give the glass a real deep clean, okay. remove any bonded contaminants and leave it nice and free for when we want to put the sealant on, which is the final step. Uh, this is going to give you that fantastic water beading, water repellent properties, which is going to make the maintenance of your glass a lot easier. Essentially, awesome. Like, it's a sealant for your glass, like you'll be using a wax on your Yeah, absolutely. Cool beans. We have been filming outside, just filming the snow foam, which is why I have a, a wet appearance. It's not sweaty. I'm not that hot yet. If you're not already part of the Maguire's UK YouTube channel, then hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on with today's video. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our process and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guards. Before we do anything, we want to clean the glass. So we've already, we've, the car's been washed. Um, it did start really chucking it down. So we bought it in and we didn't have time to give the glass a proper deep clean. So we're going to use the Perfect Clarity Glass Cleaner to do that now. Now I've got two microfiber towels. If you, if you find that you're getting street marks on your glass no matter what you do, um, there could be two things. It could be over application of product. You might be using like a contaminated cloth or just using the same cloth and just wiping it over and over again. So I'm going to show you how to get a street proof finish on your glass. Cool. So, light mist the product. Wipe one way. then buff with the second towel the opposite way. All right, so you basically you're, you're keeping the product to one towel, essentially. As long as you go one way than the other, like we've been using on detailers, like we've been using on wax, you're never gonna get streaks on the glass. So let's talk about our two-step clarity system. Now we have the, the glass compound. Now. One of the very common questions we get at car shows is, do you have a compound that's gonna remove scratches from my glass? Unfortunately, we don't. The grade of compound you would need to remove scratches from glass is diamond grade cutting compound, which you're never gonna get in a, in a car product. So what this does is give it a deeper clean. It's kind of chemically cleaning the surface, moving those hardened kind of contaminants and prepping it for the sealant. So it's like when we're doing the paintwork, we compounded and use a paint cleaners to revive the paint. So it's going to give it a lovely clarity, but then we use a wax afterwards to give it the, the, the protection. Exactly the same using this two-step system. Cool, so I think a lot of the time, Dell, I mean, I, I certainly find it, after, after it's rained even, I find a lot of like water staining and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Is the compound able to remove that as well? Yeah, any kind of staining that's sitting on the glass, um, like kind of light etching on there, this is going to gently remove that. Perfect. So we're going to use our microfiber even coat pad, solid because it's got a bit more bite to it, can really go at it. Now this is a compound, so give yourself smaller areas to work. It allows you to really concentrate on that, but also means you can take it off a bit quicker. You don't want this drying on the surface, solely because it's a compound that can sometimes firm up. So you want to make sure you work the area, take it straight off. Again, like usual, just get a bit on the pad, prime it like so. Give yourself a small work surface area and look, and it's already taken down those 
hardened stains. So look, we're not getting any kind of powders or any dust. It's just a nice slick product like all of our compounds. It just comes straight off. The reason we tell you to take it straight off is because you don't gain anything by letting a, cure, uh, a compound cure on the surface. Once you've done it, move on. It does a really fantastic job, like whilst I'm using it, I can see it kind of go over the like the bug splatter almost, and then after a couple more wipes, it kind of just clears it away really easily. Exactly that. It's almost like there's an <coughs> initial bite process to it. Now, we would always suggest doing this before applying this sealant, because you want to give it the best possible chance of protecting your glass. And the cleaner and contaminant free the glass is, the better protection and water repellent properties you're going to get from the product. You notice the clarity as well. It looks incredible. Super yeah, so it's like, I use the phrase a lot, but it's like going from standard definition to high definition. It's just gonna give a real nice clarity to the glass. Yeah, absolutely. But actually, it makes it easier to see that most of the marks are actually on the inside. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've cleaned the glass, we've prepped the glass using a compound, and now we want to seal it. We want to give it that protection. We're gonna be using a, the Perfect Clarity Sealant. Now this comes with the little pad and that makes it super easy to spread the product. All we need is a few drops, like that. Okay. And you know my up and down, my left and right? Yep. That's exactly what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna just gently, in nice, clean, straight lines, apply a sealant like this. And you can see it's super runny. So even though we've put on a few darts, it spreads incredibly well. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, very satisfying. What I normally do is go up to this black line here. Okay, why is that? Just because that's... The, Just because I, I like structure and I like going to line. <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. <laughs> It's not the best smelling product in the world. However, it's not too aggressive. <laughs> I've smelt worse. Nice. Okay, and how long roughly do we leave that on there for? Unfortunately, we, we can't give a set time. Okay. Because it's like wax, it's down to humidity, yep. um, temperature of the day. So yep. if it starts to haze up like a wax would, um, that's when it's time to take off. Perfect. So we're um, gonna wait four or five minutes. I'm going to take it, take it right then, off. Then we'll come back to my question, which was going to be... What's the question? What do we use to take it off? Do we use lubricant? Do we just use a towel? Let's and find out when we get there. Exactly. Let the journey guide us. It's all a journey. What's science? So, <laughs> in previous question, um, how do we now take off that hardened sealant? Cool. So we can tell that it's nice and hazy now. It's ready to come off. Um, but what we want to do is remove it without compromising that protection. So what we're going to use is a microfiber towel and some Meguiar's premium water. Hey, premium. Premium water. So we're just going to put a light mist on the towel, wipe one way, flip the towel, buff the other way. Like I say, using the water allows you to take it off without leaving any streaks. That's gorgeous. It looks amazing from here. So miss the towel or miss the glass? Miss the towel. Okay. Oh yeah, it comes off really easily. Flip? Yep. Oh, look how clear it is. That looks incredible. So the key with this product, we've applied it, we've removed it. Now to get that extra bit of clarity and, and protection, we're gonna reapply it and remove it straight away. We're not gonna let it cure. So I'm gonna add a few little drops. I'm just gonna get it applied. And why is this? Just to give this it like is a second layer. Exactly, gives it that bonus bit of extra clarity and protection, but also 
removes any excess product that may have dried on the surface. Okay. Yeah, so it's softening that dry product that may be on there and takes it off, but also gives it that extra boost of protection. Nice. But the key is not to let it kill, just take it straight off. So you top that up and take that off. And There'll be enough in there. Oh, will I? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Because we're doing it nice and quick. So because we're giving it the finishing touch, we're going to use the finishing towel. Right. So this gives us a proper, nice, streak-free finish. Also removes all that product nice and easily. But again, we're going to be using the water, just a light mist on the towel. No way we go. Job. See? See how it just gives it that extra bit of clarity. And you'll find that it hazes up really nicely and just buffs straight off. Now, ideally, you want to avoid washing this now for a good week or so. Okay. Just give it a nice week to fully cure, and then when you're driving in the rain, as we often do in the, in the UK because yep. it rains a lot, yep. um, you'll find that you'll just see the water feeding rush straight up the glass. It means that you're reducing the amount of times you've got the wipers going. Yep. It's going to help you have more clarity when the weather's bad. Awesome stuff. So that's going to be it for this episode of Detailing 101. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a little bit about how to clean the glass, how to kind of get that real perfect clarity within the glass. Um, it looks amazing. Let's run through what we've done and the products that we've used. We started off with the perfect clarity glass cleaner. Exactly that. So this is a great maintenance product for the glass um, during the washing period uh, or after the washing or when you go to a car show or an event or if you just find that you need to give the car a bit of a spruce up. It's a fantastic glass cleaner to give a real good clarity um, to the glass uh, without leaving any streaks. Perfect. We then hit on with the perfect clarity glass compound. This really kind of got rid of those water spots that have been etched in there from kind of dried rain or those little hard, hardened bugs that were in there. Did a really fantastic job of lubricating those and taking them away from the glass. So we could crack on with the glass sealant. I absolutely love this stuff. Strong smelling stuff, but it makes such a difference to how the glass Super looks. easy to use as well. Um, like I said, we give it the first application and we let it cure like a traditional sealant or wax. We remove that using a, a microfiber towel and a light mist of water. And then we reapplied it straight away, but then took it straight off. That removed any hardened product that may have been yeah. left behind, but also gives it extra bit of clarity, extra bit of protection. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and click the little share button and share it around to your friends if you want to share it. Also make sure you're subscribed and you've clicked that little bell button uh, to get a notification whenever we post a new video. If you need any help or any information um, with regards to this process, um, please do feel free to contact us either through the website on our contact us page or through our Instagrams and Facebook social media platforms. Um, good. Yeah, and I think while we're here, cool. we're running out of things to do on your car. Very true. So if you have some suggestions or questions or something you would like us to cover, drop us a comment below. Yep. Um, and if we can, we'll very much like to start addressing videos that you guys want to see. Absolutely. Well said. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so no, it's okay. <laughs>